Charlie Lapson here in Hollywood at the CBGB premiere bring you some red carpet tips. That's a hell of a necklace, man. What do you got there? Okay, it's like it's a Navajo a, type of thing? Well, it's a doorbell, actually. It's a doorbell? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what okay. you just opened. <laughs> wow. Started out with a metaphor. Let's do it. So let's talk about the type of music that was from the days I, I heard that you spent time in New York, you lived in New York, and you went you to... You just heard that from the other interview well, that was right and, next and door. I'm trying. <laughs> I and, love and, it, and, though. And I'm going with You're that listening. because I used to go to CBGB myself yeah. because I'm from New York. It's a whole different world from today. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, how absolutely. Does, how does that music mean something? What does it mean to you from that period? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm such an, an I'm an immense music fan. So I, I that period is a very specific, very small period in the history of of modern music that uh, was kind of like a uh, in between part with evolution. So you know, punk is not really a it's a it's a word that is overused, I think. But I think it just uh, it's it's a symbol for anything that goes against the norm, and I think that uh, you know CBGB the club really highlighted music that wasn't uh, your usual pop music that was you know everyday uh, you know run of the mill, and it and it celebrated uh, difference and it celebrated um, kind of the edges and the fringe. So that's really uh, it's that celebration of the fringe. And uh, the excitement is something that I think is missing a bit when it comes to some popular culture now. I mean, I think hip hop has that, and I think hip hop is kind of the new punk in a way. Very different, but yeah, so let's talk about your character, the wild character. Tell me a little bit about this wild character and just give me two lines about him. I mean, he was a good boy. I mean, he was a good Midwestern uh, sweetheart that uh, had a propensity to, you know, blow his nose in baloney and eat it and and uh, get blowjobs on stage and that kind of thing. One last question. You today, tell me about your style. What do you do? What do you use? You're a good looking guy. You're kind of very different okay, from, yeah. from the punk look. So what do you put in your hair? Do you use gel? Do you, you know, I products? start every day off with a mohawk and it just naturally kind of gravity brings it down into this boring old... Nothing in it? I mean, just a, a little semen, a little semen. That's the key. I've heard that. You have heard that, I've huh? You got to use a little semen. Yeah. yeah. Do you buy it? Or? Uh, you do. You can buy it on the internet. I buy. I buy, I buy it on Darknet. Uh, I'll tell you what works the best. I'd go for it. Lamb semen. Okay. You've heard it here first. I, I'm gonna have to look that up. I want you to go home and I want you to Google. How do I get lamb semen? Okay. I will do that.